Hey everyone, this is Mark, the Window Cleaner, coming to you on behalf of WindowCleaningResource.com. Now today you're going to have a special double bill feature. I'm going to be talking about the Triumph MK3 scraper, as well as the Triumph scraper holder. But first, let's take a look at the the star attraction. Uh, the MK3 scraper is pretty new to me. I haven't tried any of the other Triumph uh, scrapers in the past, the MK2 or any of the angled scrapers. But I will tell you that from what I can understand, the only real difference between this version, the MK3 and the MK2, is that this has a nice, uh, sturdy, rubberized grip, ergonomic grip. And for somebody who's got like long fingers like I do, I was really quite happy that it fits very nicely in my hand and uh, feels good when I'm scraping the glass, whether I'm on the ground or whether I'm on the ladder, I feel pretty confident with this scraper. It also is uh, comes with this nice heavy duty lid. I guess, I, like I said, I haven't tried their other versions, so I don't know if their lids have always been this strong and nice, uh, but I'm used to the Adderay Scrape Master where that lid is always either falling off, falling underfoot, I step on it, crack it. I'm, I'm on my third lid for that scraper, um, the Adderay Scrape Master. And, I mean, I like the scraper, but the lid totally sucks. So, this one here does for me what I want it to do. Now I'm used to an angled scraper and I did get a hold of just a straight one. I don't know, <clears throat> at first I thought I wouldn't like this because it is straight, but it's, it's worked out pretty good. I think the only reason why I'd ever go for the angled one is more for pole work. And speaking about pole work, uh, I was happy also that this that the hole that they have at the bottom of the handle fits nice on my Unger uh, pole with the Ergo uh, ErgoTech uh, locking tip cone snaps on there nicely. You know it's going to be secure when you're scraping those high windows. Very good thing to have. And uh, so I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, this feels good. It works good. I buy the stainless steel blades for this, and um, I'm really quite happy with it. I would certainly recommend this scraper to anybody who wants a good quality 6 inch scraper. And uh, for anybody who's going to be carrying one of these things around, of course, you need a holster. So let's go take a look at the holster. So here we have the Triumph holster for their 6 inch scraper series. Basically at the top you've got belt loops, or slots for the belt. You've got on both sides, which means you can either have your holster left mounted or right mounted. Now if you take a look at the uh, windowcleaningresource.com store they have a video for this product and Alex who's uh, showcasing it has his belt going through just one side. Um, I don't know if he just did that to make a point but I much prefer it to actually go with the belt go through both sets of loops. That helps us to be a little bit more snug and also eliminates the need for this uh, locking strap. This is a leather strap that has two snaps on it so again if you're left-handed or right-handed uh, you can snap your uh, scraper securely into the holster personally once I get this thing on my belt and I'm on the job I don't ever use this I just sort of leave it off to the side only one time that I actually did have to use this and that's because I was climbing up a ladder up through this uh, up through these branches and the branches kept pulling on my scraper as I was climbing up and eventually, yeah, one time it did pull it out of the holster. So, you know, I used the strap in that particular case. But more often than not, uh, you won't need this. If you put your belt through both sides, it's pretty snug. At the bottom of the, the holster, you'll see it has this uh, this band. This is like an elastic band. I'm pretty sure, like, I. I didn't get any instructions with the holster and I'm kind of embarrassed that I didn't know what this strap was for, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just to help, again, with the snugness of the, the uh, scraper when it's sitting in your holster so that it doesn't fly out. And I'm just going to show you quickly um, how this works once you have it hooked up to your belt. Okay, so here we have it on the belt, going through both, both sets of uh, slots. I pop off the snap strap, easily comes out, but not too easily, and it goes in pretty snug. Now, I can shake this thing around, 
You can even shake it upside down. You can see that the the scraper doesn't want to fall out on its own. So like I said before, you don't really need this locking strap. Unless, of course, you're in a situation where you're climbing up through obstacles where something may catch a hold of your scraper handle. Otherwise, I just kind of leave it off to one side. Comes out, goes in. It's a good holster. So there you have it, a couple of good products from Triumph the 6-inch uh, MK3 scraper and the holster to help you carry it on the job. Uh, the only thing I'd say about the holster is for some people, in fact maybe even for a lot of people, it's overkill. Um, it's a really heavy duty holster and a little pricey, I think it's about 36 bucks at the store. Um, I actually won mine at a contest which is a good reason why you should definitely join up with windowcleaningresource.com if you're a professional window cleaner out there because they have all kinds of free giveaways, <coughs> contests, a lot of fun up there on that website. Um, so yeah, like I said, I won mine uh, in one of their contests a few months back and uh, really glad I got a hold of this. And uh, Anyway, you can get this uh, Triumph uh, holster and scraper and many other different brands of scrapers and holsters at windowcleaningresource.com. Take care. Bye for now.